here is Thierry Henry's starting lineup. Yeah, the interesting thing is Martial comes in after that one appearance and MLS is back. He's going to in Toronto on Friday. A yeah, big change is Baldissimo in the middle of the park for his debut. A little bit of steel in there. Owosu has played a lot of games in the number. Against the Whitecaps. The referee tonight, Drew Fisher, the 40-year-old from Calgary, gets things underway. And Vancouver hoping for something tonight. As a Bologna player on loan after that move that happened in the last couple of weeks. He'll stay with Montreal until the end of the season. This is Kyoto down the right side, trying to get away from Andy Rose. Kyoto across the goal. And he couldn't pick out touch play towards Brogiard on the far side. Down the line for Piet. Yeah, pulling it back for Wanyama. Just tips over the bar there. And I think he got a touch in it with Thomas Asal. Maybe not. That was certainly just for him. He started the game really well. Two coaches sharing a word there. Thierry. Vitala down the line. Picked up by Lapalainen. Here's Ty Guerin. A little bit of space. Can he get a good cross into the middle? Wonderful ball in. Header from Kyoto. The bell can ring for Montreal Impact. The end of a fabulous move. What a delivery from Ty Dare. And Kyoto applies the finish. What a goal. What a fantastic goal from the Montreal Impact. Magnificent football. Overload on the left. Lapalainen coming in. Little inside run that's been a theme from this game with the home side, brilliant ball, sensational ball with the outside of his right foot, into an area, looks up, what about this for a delivery, that is absolutely magnificent, and Kyoto is a good teammate, he doesn't waste the excellence from Ty Dare. does everything right, just uses the pace of the cross, he got a strong header on it, into the back of the net, Hassal with no chance, and the home side have the lead. An 18th minute goal from Ramel Kyoto, his third of the season in Major League Soccer. But he scored against Toronto in Orlando and in the opener, standing over it. Baldessimo has a crack. I thought it was in. I really thought that was in. Diot was rooted. Never moved his feet one little bit. Brilliant effort, it's actually you know, half a yard wide. Yeah. Cavallini doesn't really have the support, he decides to come back with a risky ball from the off. Brilliant ball. Was. Brilliant ball, but risky. And then nothing comes of it, there's no cross, there's no end product. Lapalainen chasing forward here, can he get in round the back? It's Lassi Lapalainen! Places it neatly inside the far corner to double Montreal's advantage. And Lassi Lapalainen, the Finn, who turned 22 yesterday, celebrates his birthday with a goal on his first start of the season. Montreal 2 0. scored from a position that's brought great joy for the impact in this match. Down that left channel, Lapalain in far too much space for Veselinovic. Terrific first touch, even better second, both with the right foot, his weaker foot. And the quality of the... 2-0 the scoreline, 18th minute, Kyoto got the first, and then it was Lassie Lapalainen with the second goal, five minutes before half-time, it's his first of the season. Big moment in the game, chance for Cavallini to put the ball in the back of the net from 12 yards, Diop reads it well, gets down low, another penalty miss from the Whitecaps designated player. Brilliant save, but not a good penalty from Cavallini. Whitecaps seeing plenty of Aruti during his Portland days, of course. This is Piet. Now Bro Guiar up against Adnan. Guiar's ball into the middle. And Aruti wide. Half chance, a difficult one. He's a little ahead of the ball. He's in front of the first post, but... This is really poor, poor defending from Ali Adnan. He has to stop that cross. As in
five minutes remaining here as Piet gets it out to this near side for Okwankwo's first touch. Not much in the box. Aruti furthers forward there as Okwankwo goes up against Adnan. And Hassan makes the save. Good sound save. Okwankwo brings more of the same. He's direct. He loves the running behind. Terrific play in the middle of the park from Wanyama to break away from a, a challenge, a shrug off the defender and then Piet out to Okwankwo with the Whitecaps inside the final 13 minutes. Deflects towards Ricketts. Piet got ahead of clear. Driven back in by Reyna. Not driven hard enough. And what a header from Piet. Alive and alert to the situation. Gets there first before he's opposite number. Anthony Jackson Hamel getting set up against Ali Adnan. Brogiard with a nice ball into the middle and the powerful header over the top of the bar. The left switched across here. The excellent Brogiard with a lovely delivery just stands it up to the back post. And... Are you any more certain now, having seen the way they played this game tonight? No, I'm, I'm not in terms of what Friday night will look like against TFC. I think Terry Henry's a coach who will chop and change and, and decide on different tactics depending on the opposition I think that's the best way forward for the Montreal Impact at the moment many aspects of his performance has been because of the way that he expected the Whitecaps to play and Lapa Leinen on his first start of the season made it two that's how it finished for Thierry